Hey guys, it's Jack. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use your radio trigger receiver um, on any light. So here it is. Uh, here's our camera, pretty standard digital SLR. The trigger receiver, these will come packaged together. This is a D180, this will be our example light um, that we'll be using today. So first thing first, I'm going to show you how to put this on a stand. So here's our D180. Um, what you'll do is you'll loosen up this bottom knob and then that'll just slide on the top of the light stand and then once you tighten it up you'll feel it cinch up and then you're ready to plug it in with the port. Okay, You'll test it, you'll see this green light blinking and then there's a test button and that'll test the flash. So now that that's up, what we'll do is we'll take the receiver portion um, this red button, there's a click in and a click out. The click in is on. Um, so you'll find the sync port right here. On the D180, it's right there. Um, on some of our other lights, it's in a different position, but it's always labeled sync. And the trigger, you're going to slide into the hot shoe. It just syncs up like that. Camera on. And then to test whether the transmission is working, you press this button on the top. And you'll see a flash. Test it again and you'll see a flash. Um, so now that everything's set up, let me show you how to use it, proper settings, um, and then what it does for you, um, why to use it in the first place. Okay, so uh, proper setup, what you'll do is you'll take your light, your light um, and you'll find a healthy six foot distance. At six feet away, um, the manufacturer's suggestions are have the camera settings between 125th of a second and 250th of a second. Um, and then that, at um, any given speed within there, a good healthy place to start in reference to the f-stop is about f8. Um, and then from there, uh, the speed won't be a big determinant of how much light's taken in since the flash is giving off so much. Um, but you, uh, moving up and down with the f-stop, you'll uh, get the picture brighter, you know, attract more light. So another thing too is we're using this light just direct lighting. Uh, no soft boxes or umbrellas or anything. So you can notice some harsh shadows in the pictures that we showed you. Um, so you can experiment with umbrellas, soft boxes, something like that to maybe soften up the light and uh, create uh, less harsh shadows for your pictures. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start at 1 25th of a second with an F8 um, and then this is what it looks like. Yeah, so um, so the F8's a little bright, uh, so my face is a little washed out, so now we're going to try F10 with the same speed. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a little more understanding um, as to what the radio trigger does, um, how to work with it, and how to take pictures a little bit better. So, um, if you follow these steps, you can trust the equipment to do its job, and have fun shooting.